Hi friends, Nick here from Technology Lowdown. Today we're talking about a utility that you can use to recover BitLocker encrypted petitions and drives within your Linux operating system. Now this utility is called Dislocker and it will work on both Debian and Arch and will pretty much work in any Linux distribution that you may have. So to get into this one, let's just jump on over and I'll just bring up Dislocker here for you. This is the Linux man page for it. And basically it just uh, simply allows you to read your BitLocker encrypted volumes under Linux. Now, why it, I thought I might do this story was I had a device that um, belonged to a user that needed files recovered from it. Initially, I thought that uh, it, it wasn't booting correctly, so I thought oh, it was possibly some sort of hardware failure in it. Uh, I booted to a USB boot key, couldn't access the petitions at all, uh, and this was a Linux boot key, I, I'll add, um, and I couldn't even see them there. So I thought, okay, well, if I can't see it in Linux, I probably can't see it in Windows. So I was about to nuke it when I thought perhaps it is encrypted. So I uh, found out that uh, it was a domain joint computer and there was um, uh, BitLocker encrypted keys within the uh, Active Directory. So here I've got a little guide here on uh, Active Directory and BitLocker. And basically, if you have BitLocker set up within your domain environment, you will generally then also get this option within your Active Directory properties for a computer object. And here is the key to your data, which is the recovery password, which allows you to recover that data from the partition or the drive that you cannot access. So once I had that key, I knew that I could get into it. Now, why I ended up having to do this also from Linux was because it's one of these like tablet style devices where the amount of effort you would probably spend on getting into this device, the time it would take, it would just probably make more sense to try and boot to a, a USB device. So, so here it is here and uh, as you can see, yeah, I've got like a little uh, dock kind of plugged into it, a USB boot key and that's just the Ubuntu um, loaded up a live image of it and we're going to access it. So I've got that device opened up in remote access here with uh, VNC. So here it is now. You'll have to excuse the quality. I needed to reduce the um, quality settings in Romina here. It was a bit slow, the link for some reason. So here it is. Basically what we need to do is if you're in your uh, live image, you'll probably need to add this repository. So sudo apt-add repository universe and that will add the universe repository then you need to do a sudo apt get update and then you'll want to do a sudo apt get install dislocker all right so dislocker is installed now now what we need to do is we need to find out a little bit of information about the disks on this computer so oh whoop, that's not it so we're going to do sudo and then we're going to do lsblk hyphen F and I actually did a video on this command in a recent video so you might want to uh, have a look back through at I think it's two videos ago I looked at some Linux tools that you can use for getting information about files within your system so here are the drives on this computer what we've got is uh, the Windows petitions here reserved We've got, yeah, SDA5 and SDA4. Now, I know from the way that this device is set up within the domain environment that it is, that it is set up with a C and a D drive. So, from my judgment, SDA5 should be the drive which I need to target. So, that's the information I need there. Now, what we want to do is we need to create some mount points for this uh, petition. So, we're going to cd into our mount directory for a moment. Ah, oh, media, that is. And I will do sudo make dir, and we'll call it uh, bitlocker. Alright, so bitlock is created there. Now, this will be where we mount that petition to in its locked form. Now we're going to do sudo this locker hyphen v lowercase hyphen v uppercase and then we're going to do dev 
because that's the device. And then as we saw in that list before, the one that I'm targeting here is SDA5, SDA5, and then there's a couple of options here. I'm just going to bring it up in the man page here. So man, this locker, because there's a, a fair few guides on this online, but uh, it doesn't make it clear straight away what type of key that you're using. So to recover access to your disk, there's two ways. There's either your user password or your recovery password. So pretty much you, if, if you're recovering it this way, you would be using the recovery password, which is what you see in Active Directory. So to do this, I'm just going to specify it in its long format here. So uh, it's hyphen hyphen recovery uh, tab completes not working there. Recovery password. And then you want to put the equal sign. All right, so you're entering the recovery password. I'm just going to enter in some random text there for the moment. Then hyphen hyphen. Then you want to tell it where you want to mount it to, which is media. And it will be BitLocker. Now, I'll enter this one, but obviously it's not going to work right now because that is the wrong key. So I'm just going to get the correct key. Now, if your key doesn't work and you're not sure which one it is, you can try this command multiple times. I'm just going to enter in the correct one now again, and that'll be off the camera here so that uh, the recovery key isn't visible. So if that command runs successfully, you'll see no output from that command, which is fine. So what we could do is now we could do ls lthr, and we can see that BitLocker is there. It's got a whole heap of question marks there. Not necessarily a problem if we were to do like say sudo ls um, bitlocker. I'm pretty sure this one. Oh yeah. So it's got the disk locker file. Okay. So it's done what we needed it to do. Now we need to tell Linux how to deal with this disk locker file. So the way in which we do this is with this next command, which is going to mount that bit uh, disk locker file to a directory of your choosing. So the way in which I'm going to do this one is I'm going to make a directory inside my home directory here, and I'm just going to call it, um, say, uh, disk, all right? I call it disk within my home directory. I didn't need sudo for that either. So sudo mount, and then uh, we're going to do O for open, and then a looping, and then we're telling it the location of that disk locker file, which is media. It is then in BitLocker, and then the disk locker file. Now we need to tell it where that mount point is, which is home, Ubuntu, and then disk. Now, if all is good, it should mount. Now this error does come up if there might be perhaps an issue with the recovery or with the petition that you're mounting. Say it hasn't been shut down correctly or the petition is corrupted. So you need to mount it as read only and that's just the hyphen R command. So it's already mounted so that's okay. So we're going to go to files now and we will see that we now have that directory mounted. So just here I've got the Windows uh, drive loaded up. You can see there's a dot the uh, docx file there. And uh, there's another file here as well, a couple of directories. And yeah, that is mounted. So that's pretty much the rundown of the dislocker command. If you want to find out more information about that command, simply um, just uh, load up the man for dislocker, which is, of course, man dislocker. And that will give you all the information that you need to know about it. Well, thanks for watching this video from Technology Lowdown. I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has been, please like it. Give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, subscribe and tap that bell if you'd like to receive notifications. Thanks for watching. Bye.